The Loop, formerly called the Methuen Mall, is a shopping mall that opened in 1973. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around at the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified of my latest mall video, defunct store, or my throwback Thursday videos. Leave a suggestion or a comment for a future video. Thanks. In July of 1972, First Hartford Realty announced the construction of the Methuen Mall. The site chosen for the mall was on Massachusetts Route 213 between Interstate 93 and Interstate 495 on a 22-acre plot of land which is previously a portion of the Mann family apple orchard. At the time of the development, First Hartford Realty had confirmed that the mall would cost about $14 million to build and would include a Sears and a White Plains, New York-based Howlands department store as the anchor stores. The original plans for the Methuen Mall were to have a Sears and Sutherland as its anchors. However, Sutherland's, a department store based in nearby downtown Lawrence, chose to expand its Essex Street store and open a second store in Andover instead. Both stores would eventually close. By January of 1973, mall developers had confirmed that Sears would open by September with the rest of the mall following soon afterward. The 137,000 square foot store included more than 50 departments for merchandise as well as a 23,000 square foot automotive repair center in the parking lot. Howlands, whose store was the largest in the chain, opened on September 17th in the spot intended for Sutherlands. The, the rest of the mall then opened on November 5th, 1973. At the time of opening, it was virtually the only mall in the area. The Methuen Mall was about a half million square foot shopping center with a terrible location, located near freeways, but not near any sort of strip. It was also less than a mile from tax-free New Hampshire. In 1977, Howlands closed and was replaced by Jordan Marsh. In 1982, Filene's Basement opened a 25,000 square foot store as the mall's third anchor. The mall changed hands several times. It was sold to JMB Realty after development, and the mall sold again to MetLife in 1984, along with Caldor Anchored Strip Mall adjacent to the Methuen Mall and the Auburn Mall in Auburn, Massachusetts. For years, it coexisted peacefully with the smaller Rockingham Mall, which was on the Strip in Salem, New Hampshire. Rockingham, with Bradley's and Child World as anchors, was a fairly small mall and was no threat to the larger Methuen Mall. In 1990, New England Development announced the development of the mall at Rockingham Park across the state line in Salem, New Hampshire. Shortly before the opening of the Rockingham Park Mall, the Methuen Mall had a vacancy rate of 4%. The building of the Rockingham Park Mall posed major challenges for the Methuen Mall, due in part to New Hampshire's lack of sales tax. As the Rockingham Park Mall would also contain a Sears among its anchor stores, MetLife representatives stated that they were unsure if Sears would shutter its Methuen store upon opening of the Salem location, but also felt that they would be able to secure a new tenant should the Sears close. In 1992, both Sears and Filene's Basement closed and moved to the mall at Rockingham Park. In 1993, 
Anne and Hope moved into the former Sears location, but this store closed in 1995, along with Jordan Marsh, leaving the mall without an anchor. By 1996, the mall had lost more than a quarter of its 65 tenants. When the only nearby convention center closed, the mall attempted a novel strategy to attract customers by cooking up a very ill-fated attempt to save the mall by opening an expo center in the former Ann and Hope. The first event, an all-night rave. They had no idea what was actually going on, but obviously the police were involved and that was the end of the convention center. Nonetheless, business continued to diminish at the mall until the only remaining tenant was Applebee's. When new developers attempted to evict the Applebee's, it refused. It eventually lost on a long court battle and vacated the property. When the Methuen Mall finally closed, the city of Methuen took a huge financial hit, seeing property tax revenue fall from $60 million annually to just only $18 million annually for the site alone. In 2000, the land was redeveloped by the Brickstone companies as the Loop. The new, non-enclosed shopping center has no real anchor stores, but contains a Home Depot, AMC Theaters, and Marshalls, as well as about 20 smaller businesses, including Pearl Vision, a store that was in the original Methuen Mall. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if your answer was five, give yourself a hand. You were paying attention. Thanks for watching. So what are some of your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.